Hi guys, welcome. I'm Ken from Uni and Row, your organizer for this upcoming SPM Masterclass. The video that you're about to watch is one of three class preview videos that Mr. Kaw will be showing you how bio questions will be tackled. You can download the questions from our SPM Masterclass website if you want to try it out before watching this video. So, what to expect in Mr. Kaw's full masterclass? Well, there are many chapters and topics in biology. And great news, Mr. Kaw has done all the work for you in analyzing what came out, what didn't come out in past year exam, and what could likely come out. Meaning, you will find out which topic you need to emphasize or which topic you don't even need to study if you don't have enough time. On top of this, he will show you his special methods in answering essay questions. Seriously, if you are taking bio for SPM, you can't afford to miss his class. So, Register now at unionroll.com slash SPM Masterclass. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you there. Hi guys, welcome back again to this question and answer session. All right. So uh, today we'll be looking at an essay question. All right. Rather than the first two, which we did structure, right? So for essay question, they have their own challenges as well. Okay. So mari kita tengok apakah tip yang saya boleh kongsikan kepada anda ya yeah? ok for this particular question similar to the past two videos apakah topik bagi soalan ini your answer should be oh sir tingkatan 4 bab 7 respirasi congratulations if you get it right alright in fact this is to do with anaerobic respiration ok bagi saya tulis dulu eh, ini ini respirasi anaerobic anaerobic respiration whereby it happens when there is lack of oxygen ini kata kunci ya kekurangan oxygen in english we say in adequate in adequate oxygen but bm you can just say kekurangan oxygen ya yeah? okay let us look at the question now explain the differences in the concentration of lactic acid uh, in the blood all right now, my point is this, if you use a reference book, if you use a reference book and you copy all the points for anaerobic respiration as your answer, guys, trust me, out of six marks, you can only get half. Walaupun kamu ambil semua buku rujukan, kamu salin dalam uh, kertas jawapan sebagai jawapan anda pun dapat maka, maka separuh saja. Kenapa? Sebab, SPM, they also not stupid. They know you know your facts. But they also know you might not be able to adapt to new questions. Now, guys, in SPM nowadays, the trend is as such, whereby you copy from the book, you cannot get full marks. It's too trendier, okay? And, and uh, there'll be many tips and so on which I'll be sharing during the, the, the SPM masterclass. But, but for now, let me just focus on this, huh? So, for this particular question, if my essay consists of a graph, you'll be surprised that without referring to any book, kosong buku, kalau memang tak faham langsung pun boleh dapat tiga markah. Wah, sir, don't study also can get three mark ah. Are you sure? Yes. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, what I want you to do is, you use a highlighter. You highlight the kata kunci. That is, Differences, concentration, lactic acid, athlete. This is the keyword. Apa mereka nak? Mereka nak perbezaan dari segi kepekatan acid lactic. Good news, guys. All you have to do is get the three points. Get the three points. Okay, let me change this into purple so that Okay, ah, okay. So, the three points. Let me show you how we get it. Number one, this. Number two, this one. Number three. Tada, guys. Maka tiga, tiga maka itu sudah dalam tangan. Okay. Wah, so just draw arrow. No, don't do that. What I mean is, berdasarkan anak panah yang kamu lukis, just write in sentence. Just write in sentence. So, my first sentence. Oh, during vigorous activity, the concentration of lactic acid of the athlete 
of the athlete increases tada satu markah guys oh so just like that can get one mark yes yes number two i'm sure you know half of it easily after vigorous activity the concentration of lactic acid of the athlete decreases ini markah kedua anda Wah, so like that two marks. Yes. And one last point. Um, guys, the tip is this. Whenever we deal with anaerobic respiration, kita sentiasa sebut, kita, kita sentiasa sebut, hutang oksigen telah dibayar. Okay, we say that oxygen debt is paid off. No matter what. Whenever you see these two words, anaerobic respiration, you must end with oxygen that paid off. Hutang oksigen dibayar. Ini markah ketiga. And the remaining three will be whatever you have learned during anaerobic respiration. Just like that, you can easily get six out of six. Because you know some facts, you know how to get points from the graph, Poof, you get full marks. Okay? So guys, uh, this is one of the very few this is one of the many, in fact, this is one of the many important skills that you need in order to score the A+. plus. Now, so far, I did not mention much about the plus because to get the A+, plus, you have to be always on your feet. Means you must really know, kalau soalan ini keluar, oh, teknik ini, soalan kedua keluar, kita guna teknik B. Different questions got different strategy. So, let me share all the strategies with you that you need to score your grades during the SPM Masterclass. Alright, I'll see you then. Thank you.